Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to get the brand new RCS uh, protocol, if you will, on any Android device. Now, uh, what this is, is basically like, um, you know, like iMessage, you have like chat features, like to see when people are typing, like, I assume that's a thing, and uh, like the different, uh, you know, games and stuff. Well, this is basically like an alternative for that on Android. And uh, this is basically a new like messaging protocol that'll give you um, some new uh, chat features that... Was supposed to be rolled out next year, but uh, somebody on Reddit, they released a tutorial on how to do so. So today I'll be showing you how to do that on your smartphone. So what you need to do first is uh, disable your Wi-Fi. Um, it works better with LTE uh, as far as I'm concerned, so make sure you do that first. But once you've completed that, you want to head over to the Play Store. And for now, this will only work with the stock uh, Google Messaging app or uh, the Samsung one with... Um, universal settings turned on. I don't know what that would be. But anyways, if you don't have messages already, go ahead and search for that. Tap on messages and uh, make sure it's installed if you don't install it. And then you want to go over and find the uh, join beta uh, button. And once you find that, just tap on join. And this will take a bit of a while if you just stay there. So what I recommend doing is just going back to list of applications and then coming back. And you should be a part of the beta program at that point. So once you do that, you should be able to see the update. And um, all you want to do is uh, just tap on the update button. And what this will do basically is um, it'll allow you to enable RCS features with some other uh, tweaks. So this will take a bit of a long time as you're not on Wi-Fi. And uh, I don't have great service here. So after you've updated the Google Messages uh, beta to the beta version, you want to just restart your phone and we'll uh, continue on from there. Okay, so now that my phone has booted back up, we can continue with the steps. Now first, you want to go to your settings menu, go to apps notifications, app info, give it a second to load up depending on how many apps you have, and scroll down so you can find the uh, app called Carrier Services. Now I don't know if all devices uh, come installed with this. Um, I know my device has it installed, uh, you might need to go install that yourself. I'll try and put a link to it in the description for the APK file. But if you do have it, you want to go over to the uh, storage section and clear its data. You may not need to do this if you are installing this for the first time. But go ahead and just clear the data of the app. And we're good there for the carrier services. Now we can go down to the Google Messages app. Scroll all the way down until you find it. Once you've done that, you want to go back to the storage section again as we did with the carrier services. We're going to also clear the data of this app. Now, I don't think this will actually clear all your messages and stuff. Uh, I would make a backup just in case. If it doesn't clear my messages, then I guess you're good. But uh, it, I think they're stored somewhere else. This will just like set up the like, you know, theme settings or just, you know. But you can just delete the app data. Once that's completed, you can go to the Home menu and go back to the Play Store. Now, we're going to install an app called Activity Launcher. This is what's going to allow us to set the RCS flags and uh, basically enable the RCS service. Once you find that, go ahead and tap install. And again, this may be a bit faster for you as I don't have great service at my current location. But uh, yeah, this app shouldn't be too big. So just install that and we'll go on from there. Okay, so once the app is installed, go ahead and launch it dismiss the little uh, disclaimer there and uh, wait for it to load all your uh, app uh, flags if you will I don't actually have 423 apps uh, most of that is system and um, substratum themes as they appear as actual applications that you can install but uh, this should only take a moment so just let that load up and we can proceed with enabling the RCS flags okay so once that's completed you want to go ahead and find the Google Messaging app. Scroll down until you find that. Go ahead and tap on it and scroll down until you find Set RCS Flags. You want to go ahead and set the uh, sandbox flag first under ACS URL, like so. And then you're going to set the other flag right here, and there should only be one. Once you're done with that, you can just hit apply. So once you've done that, you want to uh, hit apply if you haven't done so already. 
go back to uh, your settings menu, go back to applications, all apps, and go to the messages app and click for stop. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back to your home screen, find the messages app, and uh, open it up. Now, when you first open it, it should say uh, new, see when friends are typing, etc. And you want to go ahead and hit that tap uh, upgrade now. And it'll say doom worth messages. Uh, my messages looks a bit weird because my subscribe theme is messed up. But you just want to hit next. And this will take, you know, way shorter than it will for me. Uh, the check mark will just appear and then it'll be good to go. All right. So once it's done uh, with the uh, verification process or whatever, we can check to see if it was successful. So go to settings, chat features. And as you can see, it says it's connected and chat features are ready to use. Now you can tell if RCS is working if um, you see that whenever you send an SMS message under it, uh, usually it'll say like SMS, but uh, now it should say something like RCS. I haven't tested this yet, but yeah, while this isn't going to kill off iMessage or anything like that, Apple is still using the you know soon to be killed off SMS protocol. Uh, they are planning to do, uh, it's a possibility, not really planning, that they're going to use the RCS uh, protocol. It's a bit more universal as far as I'm concerned. But uh, yeah, this isn't going to kill off iMessage, but it's a great alternative and it's a, good stop. it's a good step in the right way. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.